Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly video with me, Father Chris. First of all, I'm really excited this year that we can celebrate Holy Week together, these beautiful celebrations where the church invites us to reflect liturgically so beautifully and powerfully upon the final days in the life of Christ, the events that led to his passion, death, resurrection, and eventually the ascension. I'm really pleased and blessed that we can celebrate again publicly, and I'm really looking forward to celebrating these events for you and certainly with you. Uh, and so please come, please join us for Holy Week as we get to celebrate with great joy and with great just awe and reverence and just joy in our hearts that Christ gives his life for us. And it starts this Sunday on Palm Sunday, the beautiful day where Christ enters triumphantly into Jerusalem so that he can start these events and everyone comes in and, and is singing his praises and then how quickly they betray him. In four days, they go from singing his praises, proclaiming him king, to betraying him, arresting him, and then on the fifth day, nailing him to the cross on Good Friday. So it's amazing just how quickly our hearts can change. And so in that movement, though, the church invites us to reflect on how quickly do we turn astray from the Lord? Does the Lord do something wonderful and we celebrate with great joy? And then in the next moment, we're angry at God or just distraught or despairing or whatever else it might be. But those are part of the mysteries of human nature that Holy Week evokes and calls forth from us to see, Lord, how and where and when do I turn from you? And with that awareness, then we can stand with grateful hearts and receive from Christ the beautiful outpouring of his life and of his love for us. We can stand with Mary, the mother of God, with John, the apostle, and with Mary Magdalene, our patroness, at the foot of the cross and receive everything from the Lord. And yes, we admit our weakness and our vulnerability, but we know that Christ comes especially to die to that so that he can raise us to a new life. And that's something truly to rejoice in, and that's the beautiful mystery of Holy Week. Christ takes our human nature to the cross, our brokenness, our sins, and he rises again in glory in the fullness of grace and in new life to invite us to do the same thing. So this Holy Week, allow the Lord to stir your hearts as he's stirring mine and as he continually and regularly stirs mine. Hey, how can you keep dying to yourself? How can you keep making these sacrifices? Die to sin and rise with me. That's what Holy Week shows us, this beautiful, beautiful and reverent celebrations that just give us this opportunity to look and to make that movement of metanoia, of conversion, of repentance, to come back to the Lord with pure hearts and joyful hearts. So allow the Lord to stir within your heart, to convict you of your sins so that he can call you to die to yourself. And this is for me as well. To, we must die to ourselves so that Christ can lead us to a new life. So as the Lord convicts us and stirs, us, stirs up within us the awareness of our sins, let that happen so that Christ can take that to the cross and offer that to him. Offer to Christ our brokenness, our sins, our failures, but also our hopes and our joys and those things that we do do successfully and gloriously in his name. We offer all that to Christ so that he can take that to the cross, and rise and gift us a new life, a life of grace and a life of pure love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you so much for just this beautiful Holy Week that we celebrate. Be with us as we walk these final days in the life of Christ, that we might be grateful and adoring and just recipients of the great outpouring of your love, the perfect act of love that is your Son on the cross, that is Christ crucified. Give us the grace that like Mary Magdalene, like Mary the Holy Mother of God and John the Apostle, that we might always stay at the foot of the cross, that we might have the courage to not abandon him, but to stay with him in all things and to receive from him this perfect outpouring of love, to allow ourselves to be cleansed and washed clean by the blood and water that flow from his pierced side, so that you can call us and lead us to new life, a life of grace with you. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks, everyone. Have a beautiful and wonderful Holy Week. And God bless.